is Layaki. Welcome to Layaki Says. So, welcome to my editorials. These are things that I want to talk about. I want to share experiences, uh, memories that I think will potentially inspire you. Take it, leave it, do whatever you'd like. But here it goes. I was faced with, uh, with this reality uh, that I was gay. And I have learned quite a bit along the journey. It's, it's been a long journey, but I've learned some pretty cool things that I want to share with you guys. Because I'm sure some of you may be struggling with your identity. Some of you may know of people who are struggling with this, um, this particular thing. So I wanted to be able to speak up and raise, raise the flag and uh, impart some wisdom and some learnings um, through my own journey. Number one. I think a lot of people who are struggling with this and who first realize that they're gay is they automatically think, oh shoot, like I'm gay. I have to look in the mirror and say, I'm gay. Uh, That's basically all that's going to uh, be you. You're limited to this word, to this classification, to this label, to this reality uh, that's different than what you've been taught. I mean, it's pretty simple, right? You, You grow up thinking you're straight and then you realize that you might be gay. And then all of a sudden, that's what's in your head. And you're limited to what a gay person can do, uh, what they can't do. Uh, And uh, I think if there's one thing I can truly um, voice is that you are you. Uh, That accepting you as you are outside of being gay is most important because that's who you are. Uh, Being gay is just simply a part of who you are. Um, So I think looking at it through that lens, you know, a lot of the times I thought, oh my God, are people just gonna think, oh, Jackie, the gay girl? You know, that's scary. You know, there's so much more of that makes me me. And so it's really important that you also feel that way, that there's so much more that makes you, you. You just happen to be gay too. Number two, you gotta be honest. Okay, I know a lot of people are telling you to come out or or whatever. What's most important, number one, is that you are honest with yourself. I I tried to deny it for many years and it it was hard. And the minute that I started to be just a little bit more honest with myself, it got a lot easier. You can't run from yourself, right? So, I encourage you every day to just be a little more honest with yourself and it'll get easier day by day with time. Um, that, that's where your focus should be before anything else. Three. This is a big one. Uh, it definitely was for me. But uh, your parents. I'm pretty close to my parents. I always looked up to my parents and, and I knew this thing was not going to go over as well as I would hope, right? Um, you want your parents to be proud of you. You, you want uh, them to align with everything you're doing, right? You know, you're making decisions. You want them to be okay with it, right? Because then if they're okay with it on some level, some level, you'll be okay with it. Well, I think what's important in this situation is to um, accept that um, what's most important when it comes to your parents is that you're just honest with them. Um, letting them know who you are, your truth, that is important. I mean, it definitely was important to me. I do believe at the end of the line that will be something that everyone should, um, especially if they're so close to their parents, should um, work towards that. And as far as how they deal with it, how they react to it, or how they're going to accept it is on their terms. Um, you just have to be the willing party to be there to open any questions, to, you know, to be open to any questions, um, to, to, to help them along the way. But um, ultimately, the, the pressure of that, you, you can't have it on yourself. You have to let them you know, you have to let them do their thing, you know, four. But one topic that uh, I don't see too much of, and I do want to share, and I do am open to anyone who's out there who's looking at this, this particular point uh, about God. How does God and homosexuality fit together? Uh, Unfortunately, there was no guidebook for me. I I grew up very religious and and, and happily so, you know, very proud to be a a follower of Christ and, uh, and a believer and lover of Christ. But there was no handbook, there was no guidebook on, oh hey, by the way, you're gay, and oh, by the way, uh, oh yeah, there's nothing there, yeah. Um, how do I, how do I fit God into this world of mine? That was, that was one, was one of the hardest things to understand and navigate, because there really hasn't been anything out there to really help me along the way. 
So, you know, unfortunately for me, I did have to walk away and have some space in order to come back. And I'm back and I'm happy. You know, I choose love. You know, there's a lot of people who are, who are gay, who, who, who do, who have every right to be upset with the church and with their religion if, if there's any discrimination or, or feeling of, of, of exclusivity. Um, but I encourage you to think about God. You know, there was a reason why you're connected to God and God is most important. So um, it is a journey, it's not easy, but um, if you have God at the base of what you're searching for with your spirituality uh, and letting the gay thing uh, be a, you know, just a part of, of that integration, uh, that's what's also important. I, um, I'm still navigating it and still working on that. The truth is, is I believed in love God way before I thought I was gay. So he's with me always and forever. And uh, and it is just going to be a bumpier ride, but it doesn't mean that he can't be, he can't be with me and I can't be with him. And number five, why we do all of this? Why do we struggle uh, to identify who we are and be honest with each other? Why do we want, we want all of this to work out in our favor? For love. It's as simple as that. We gay people want to love and, and be loved just like any straight person. Um, it is uh, one of the greatest gifts in this life of ours is the opportunity and the ability to love someone and for them to love us back, to have that you know, rich connection with someone. Um, that's why we do this. That's why we're, we're pushing for this because at the end of the day, that's, it's rooted in love. And so um, it's really important that I point that out because for any of you who are struggling with it, it's worth it. It's to fight for something that's that powerful and beautiful. And for those who are allies or who are who are not allies, who are, are struggling to understand the LGBTQ community, I, I really encourage you to understand it and put your perspective on, on the root of love, that this is all fed through love uh, and to be open to it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Peace and love.